All right, so now we want to put in controls to uh, for the uh, structure text program we've been working on. What we want to do is we want to add controls to this to decrease the speed as well. So uh, as we stated, we were not finished with the code. What we're going to do is keep adding on to this as we're going. So um, in short, uh, small videos. So what we're going to do is just say else if, else if, right? And then we're going to say, um, we're going to call this, uh, let's call this uh, increment down. So we'll do a new tag and we'll call this increment down. And again, this will be a boolean. So we'll bool and we'll put that there. And what we're going to do in this case is we're going to say then what we're going to do is index down again. And in this case, what we need to do is, and I like to indent to where I'm going to have everything. So if, if things are indented a certain way, I like to make sure they're indented a certain way. Um, although you can, you know, indent it however you see fit. I just think it's easier to read if everything is in line like this. So if I, in this case, everything would be in line here. So let's pull that back. And now we want to say the speed reference. So we're going to right click and select our tag. And we're going to say the speed reference is going to equal our, and we're going to put our colon is going to equal sign and then speed reference minus one. So uh, browser tag again, get the tag, put that in there. And then we'll say minus. In this case, we're going to say, uh, we'll put everything back to one. Uh, so that you can easily see that and then we'll close off the statement by saying a uh, semicolon All right so now let's put this one back to one as well so you can easily see that so let's do some testing on this to make sure the code works properly and we'll throw our de um, uh, increment down tag down here so let's do this and let's come over here and see if that and what we didn't do is we didn't uh as you see we let it run off so we need to put in some more controls for that so if we put in a zero right here we didn't put anything to turn off our um, increment down so what we'll do is we'll put in some more controls right here and we'll get our increment down and we'll turn it off too because again we didn't put our one shot value or our control that we were doing for our one shot value right there is for that specific bit so you see it kind of ran off. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and say this is going to be equal to zero after the function has been done. So um, it's going to be equal to, so equal to zero after the function has been done. So meaning if it's pressed, it's going to uh, take the speed down and then it's going to turn itself off. Now in our case, we've already exceeded the, the limit so we haven't put, again, this is not finished code, so we haven't put it on our code yet. We just want to test the stuff out as we're going. So now we put in speed up, or increment up, and increment down in an if then else statement. So let's go ahead and increment up again so you can see that working. And that is a incrementing up in a speed of one at a time. So if I get take that to three real quick, now if I do the down, or increment down, Let's do that and it works perfectly. So you can see that. So if we change the code right here to like work in 10. So if we change the code to work in 10, so let's go back in edit mode and say it's gonna plus 10 or plus or minus 10. So then that way we can see a significant difference, right? So then we'll go right here and put in that. So now the speed is 10, the speed is 20 speed is 30 and we go over here and we, we increment down our speed is now 20 and our speed is now 10 so you can see that is a, a good way to do a if then else star yeah if then else statement for speed controls now we still do need to put in a protection agent for this so we will come back in the next video and add the protection agent just in case it to range it from zero to 60 as well. So with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.